All right, welcome back. Ibarakpa killings. We will defend our people. Governor Akiri Dolu summons Amateko. All right, the news and details. The governor of Ondo State, Roti Miyakere Dolu, has summoned a joint security meeting of all Amoteko commanders in the southwest region of the country following the killing of several people in Iganga, Ibarakwa land by suspected Fulani S. men. In a statement on Sunday evening sent to Politics Nigeria, the governor described the killings as cowardly. We have just received with rude shock premeditated attack on our people at Igagam, Ibarakba, or your state in the early house of today and then this cowardly onslaught on our peaceful community has occasioned loss of lives and property on a large scale. It is horrendous, callous, and uh, highly provocative as well-meaning Nigerians must condemn in the strongest term possible this latest assault on decency and in communal harmony. While we will encourage the security agencies to get to the root of this latest act of provocation, we have directed the commanders of the Southwest Security Network, Amotekon, to convoke a joint security meeting of all commanders in the southwest with a view to commencing joint operations in the region immediately. We must reiterate the fact that certain elements are bent on causing friction among the people of this country with the sole aim of achieving a pernicious end. They will stop at nothing until their set goal is realized. It is therefore incumbent on all lovers of peace and freedom to rise against this current regression into savagery. We on our part are resolved to defend our people, their property and all legitimate means of livelihood against both internal and external aggression on this there will be no compromise we call on our people to remain vigilant and uh, report any suspicious movement in their communities in addition they must be united in the tax of defending our lives and properties the statement read all right, and then on to this one, the governor of Fundo State, Governor Rotimi Akaredolu, has blown out on this matter. And then, you no, know, he has said that henceforth, there will not be any kind of you no know, mediocrity. No more mediocrity and the, the people need to wake up. Well, I think they are rather too, you know, too late on this. Well, a lot of people had actually died and then I don't understand why our governors would relax to this level to this extent because this is not funny at all the fulani x-men are saying that these people have relaxed and then you remember vividly what happened before now you people should have you no know, woken up and be at alert well and it has been confessed by some of the indigents of the ibarakwa land that even some soldiers saw everything that happened they were there but did not do anything so what is that trying to tell us that's to tell you that this set of people just want war in the country all right meanwhile according to reactions guests have said that well akere dolu is the only governor in the south he is outspoken governor he is the only governor that have his people at heart not like the one we have in southeast which are saboteur he is the only governor that allowed the singing of Udua Nation Anthem, Udua National Anthem in his state. The first governor to ban open grazing, the only governor that speak well against the atrocities of Fulani S men. What happened in Ibarakwa can't happen in Ondo. Believe me, I respect you, sir. My honorable governor Akiredolu. 
All right, I think this one had come from guest. Well, it's a nice one. Hmm. Well, according to Bolagade Ashifaya said, Well, I believe in Akere Dulu and his ways. He is one of the few who will say something and walk the talk. Please let there be concerted effort to protect our regional border. If we have done in the past, we can still do it. The federal government is already attacking the region through their agents. Fulani men have been officially acknowledged as agents of the government. All right, that's serious. And the meanwhile, according to Viba De Yaseda, well, but Arakwane Akredolu Shebi, you were against Sunday. Boho defense against his blood tasting Fulani. Anyway, thank God you are now waking up. I hope you will not go back to sleep again on this issue of ethnic cleansing and then fulanization agenda. All right, and then it is also said that where is Ashiwa Jubala Tinumbu? Our able candidate for 2023, will you not speak up now? <laughs> right. And that is another one. Well, when these killings are happening, majority of them keep mute and yet they want to be, be president. They want, they are coming from the Yoruba land. They want to be president of the country. Yet they are not saying anything. They are all mute as if they don't know what is going on in the country. Well, majority of people have seen it that this time around, this set of people needs to be questioned. Yes. And uh, many people have said that they know about what is going on. Forget it. Forget what they are pretending about. They know what is going on. Well, it's only God that will judge them one after the other. Well, we'll continue to let them understand the, it will get to them. All right, according to Ola Wanyi, Ola Tunde on this one, he has said that, well, Yoruba have tolerated this idiot for too long. The enemies know that we only talk and do nothing. Otherwise, they won't have such audacity to invade our whole community. Hmm. Is it until they kill everyone? And then that is it. You should be talk and do, not that talk and you no know, sleep. Talk and perform. That is what you see. That is why no one thing about the Yorubas. They, they are always talking. You don't need to tell people what you want to do. Let your actions speak for you. The Fulani never told you people they are coming. They never announced it. They just came and they performed what they had to perform and get out. Yet you people are there. You'll be making noise. Oh, we will do this. We, will. we don't want all those initial gragra again. Do the thing. Do the thing. Protect your people. Where were the Amotekun when all this were happening? That's the problem. Where were they? And they said they have regional security. That is why I trust the ESN. This can never happen in the in the land now where ESN and high pop are. They are always at a lot. That's why the federal government is calling them a terrorist group because they, they've seen that this set of people are not sleeping. But the Yorubas are just so so I don't understand. All right, so well, I pray that eh, the ends fought, they will wake up. I think they are Motekun. They are not that they, they are not strong people. This set of people you are seeing, they are very strong, but they are just so lazy. They are just, I don't know, any little thing, they will just forget themselves. I don't know. Which We are talking about uh, war right now. You people are slumbering. You are sleeping. And now look at what has happened to the people. Your own people slaughtered them like chicken. In a, in a state whereby we have you know, men, men of war, gallant men. The Amotekun, the Ojujua, OPC, they are there. But yet, these people went in, came out, and nothing happened. Oh, my God. This is a shame. Well, I pray that ends fought. I believe they will, they will wake up this time around. Yes, they will wake up this time around. I know they will not want to sleep any longer. All right, and then meanwhile, majority of people have actually reacted on to this. And then it has been said that Sunday, okay, According to Sunday, okay, I don't understand what this person said. Okay, let me take another one. Okay, and then, okay, this one is coming from Atman68. I said, I will remember that this was how it started with Bono and the Benue people before it's gone wild. Now, it should be now or never or what? Well, that's another one. Well, enough of words of condemnation. They believe that will be the end of it. Shock them this time around. We can't continue like this. Southwest governors sit up. 
For goodness sake, no more politics. I want all more Yoruba ni in I want kine jati jati yikpa. Bye. All right. Well, that's serious. Well, guess the three OPC men that arrested Iskilu are in prison up to now, and then nobody seemed to be doing anything about it. Now we are making noise. Let us rise to defend ourselves and also get the OPC boys out of prison. That's another serious one. You can imagine this set of people are still there. No, it's a shame. It's a shame. Where well, where is Shei Makinde, the chicken hearted governor who cannot defend his people against the Fulani S men? Ogunle yeah, Phillips has said that so far. Hmm, that's serious. Well, I think this set of people need to come out. They need to face it squarely. Well, my people, a lot of comments keep coming in. Hmm, people are hungry. People are not happy at all onto this. Well, that has been it on this one, my people. Meanwhile, let me have your take on this. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.